All right, this is gonna be a Gavril jump course, very similar to like those stunt uh, man games that we lumped back in the day. I'm hoping that these new stunt uh, kind of challenges are good. So we're gonna check them out. There's gonna be stunt jumps placed along the course here, and we'll be given points the bigger that our jumps will be. So we have no time limit, but of course we wanna keep the pace up. So wish me luck here. I don't know. This is, uh, how fast is this, this gavel truck? I mean, hopefully we get some good points for airtime. Oh man, this feels like a Forza Horizon in, uh, in beam, funny enough. The thing is though, we've got to keep ourselves in one piece, which is hard to do, <laughs> hard to do in beam, um, as well as damage wise. We've <laughs> We definitely had some steering damage up front, but I didn't think that we would have lost it like that. Nothing's easy in beam. Um, that's that's the best way to put it. And you know, when I put stuff out there like, hey, maybe we should have like GTA 6 with these physics and stuff, obviously you guys know what I mean. It would be either be a choice or uh, an arcade ver arcadey version of this because the realism is too much. And I don't know why I aimed right for the pole. Let's try one more time. See if we can get through these jumps in one piece. I'm gonna watch for the pole this time and not aim directly for it. That I think will help us a lot here. Let's see. There you go. Look at that. Good jump. Barely missed that tree though. I don't think any of our steering is very, very messed up like it was that first time from that jump. I think we're doing okay this time. How do you make it more exciting or how do you even get more airtime though? Like other than speed, right? I mean, that's the thing, keeping the speed up. Keeping the speed up. That's what we're doing. Oh, that was aggressive. Oh God, don't flip it there. Oh, I don't, that screwed our steering and wrapped us around a tree. See, this first jump isn't even that hard. That, that one actually is very easy. And then you go into here and this is Vera Forza. Like I said, oh gosh, it upsets the suspension though, for sure. This one is, if you just, you know, take it at the wrong angle, can really mess your day up. This one, not so much, not so much of a problem. It's just, you gotta respect the physics. <laughs> you gotta respect the physics here, guys. Oh my God, I say that as I'm fearful that I'm gonna lose it there, but we're good, we're good. How many jumps are there? I don't know if we know. I don't even know how long we've, how far we've gotten through in the scenario either. Oh, I did the same move last time and it killed us. Let's try to keep it together there. I think we're good. I can see the kind of you know, floating things off in the distance. So is blue done or is blue like the one after the next? Let's, is this the last? I think it is. Oh, no, it's not. It's not, it, it keeps going. Man, I thought I was getting a lot further than what I was too, to be honest. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, we held it together. Oh, that's a big ramp. Uh, I guess not. I guess it's the regular size of these ramps. <sighs> don't, don't. Yeah. Jeez, this is going around this whole map. I didn't realize. We're gonna go through the town too, I think. Jeez. Yeah, we're going through the town. That is, <gasps> oh, and you've gotta have enough speed. Oh, or you're gonna get screwed. Oh, this is so tight for a truck. Come on, guys. Let the baseline get you. Oh man, stuntman. I, we need a new stuntman game. Just saying. This is proof that we need a new stuntman game. Can you imagine this, but with like, you know, the explosions going off and the... And this is where I rage quit. The, for the entire day.
and never come back to my computer. You gotta be kidding me. We got so far. All right. I'm going for it again, guys. <sighs> gotta be kidding me. I feel, or at least I feel like we got so far. Who knows? Who knows if that's actually that far on this godforsaken challenge? <laughs> Who knew this challenge was gonna be as hard as what it is? Um, but for real, tell me. Tell me you don't want a stuntman game. And if you don't know what a stuntman game is, I feel bad for you. The stuntman games were, at least the OGs were really good for what they were. I, uh, I just want a modern kind of take on it. And this is, in a way, a modern take on it, you know, and just a really cool way to do it. It's just, I want, you know, the explosions going off and, and kind of, you know, having to hit those and do those Rockfords and all that stuff. It was such a good... It's a cool game. As, as, as if you like movies and what goes into making movies and, you know, the, the science behind the cars and stuff, the stuntman games were, you know, not obviously super in-depth on the actual movie-making process, more on the, the stuntman process, obviously. Look at it just locked. That's me. <laughs> just... Hey, don't get me wrong. I get it. Using a controller as opposed to a wheel for this. Um, I get it. Beam is just better in general with a wheel, but I, I do have a lot of fun and, and find it more challenging at times using a controller for sure. As I run over that rock, luckily that was not a very sharp rock. Oh, I'm going to need the handling ability through the city though. That's the biggest problem when we go through the town here. This ain't going to be good, guys. Oh! All right. I've said one more time, numerous times now, but this is going to be the last chance, last chance we have to complete this. Let's keep our truck in one piece. We want to keep moving, but let's try to keep this thing together um, and try to keep it going. <sighs> I'm going to, I'm going to do a survival focused course this time. All right. As I completely go sideways and uh, I think our steering's good. Okay. Just going to try to keep that kind of damage off of our front end and, and the damage off of our steering rack in particular. Look at those. It's much more smooth um, entries onto those ramps and, and landings from those ramps. Let's see here. Beautiful. Oh, that was a lot on the front end. But again, steering seems to be fine we're gonna slow down a little bit more for this corner too let's just be safe as we possibly can is the is the best way to put it and i think we're in a better place now being in a better place coming up to the city good the city and the couple different little turns that it has you does basically nearly at first makes this extremely difficult like even just clearing this Wow, we cleared it, all right. But we've got to maintain some semblance of speed to get. I don't think there's other things that we have to clear inside the city, so that's good at least. And we're good through here, all right. We're not going to get any. Uh, fixation there on any of those objects and hit those. So I think we're good. This is a cool little. Uh, Stunt Chorus. Oh, it's got us going back against. Very cool concept. I like this. See, this in a faster car, you know, than this old big truck would, I think, be much more interesting. It would probably be, honestly, a lot more difficult, but I think it would be very cool. So we're going back through the town here. Oh, I had a lot of speed in that one. Oh. It takes so much to slow these things down. But I think... Oh. oh, steering is definitely pulling very hard to the right now. Wow, this is a much longer um, challenge than I thought. Beautiful! At least I'd, I say that we were... Oh, I got maximum score. For, oh, wow! 
We did way better than I thought. We did way better than I thought. Hey, I'll take it. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed these challenges in Beam. If you wanna see more videos like this, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to the channel. It really does help me out as well as also if you wanna get early access, unedited, some of that kind of stuff. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you became a member as well. So I appreciate the ongoing support guys and I'll see you in the next one.